This is video game pricing. I wanted to watch this like nine months ago. So it's time to take a look at it. Video games are an expensive hobby, but at the same time, games are cheaper and more accessible today than ever before. When I think that video games in general are not that expensive of a hobby. People are, oh, yes, they is. Yes, they is. They did the $60 game. Number one, you don't have to play AAA games only. Number two, this is not a three second pause. This is uh, 11 seconds into the video. Please stop. So, I have like Jeff, bro. If if Jeff and Cody, and if we ever went downtown, minimum being spent is five hundred dollars. That's one day, one night, like minimum five hundred dollars, and and probably way more than that. And then on top of that, like, well, yeah, there are other hobbies too. Yeah, like what Warhammer? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I tried to make a fucking Imperial Army with Eric back whenever we were in high school. That was a fucking mistake. We couldn't afford shit. Millionaire tag? Bro, Jeff would be the one spending $500, and Jeff doesn't have a job. You think I'd spend $500? Fuck no. No, of course not. No, it'd be Jeff spending $500. Yeah, I, I wouldn't spend any money. It would be Jeff spending all of our money. Like, that'd be it. Magic Gathering sent me back 10 grand? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, J yeah, be Jeff's mom, exactly. The Atari 2600 launched in 1977. It cost $200, uh -huh. which doesn't sound too horrible until you adjust oh, 27. It cost $200, which... Uh, is this real? There's no way this is real, right? I mean, there's like literally 0% shot this is actually real. I, 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 no, there's no way, I, no fucking way I'm going to believe this. No way, uh-uh, like, give me a fucking link to that, I want to see that. Oh my god. $200, which doesn't sound that too was a lot of money. until you adjust for inflation and realize that was my like mom had this $900. Imagine yeah. paying $900 to play this. No, nah, no, nah, that was, it was so lit. Like, I'm telling you, like, some of the earliest memories, like, that I have is, like, uh, my mom, before we moved to Austin, uh, like, it was, like, me and, like, her and, like, my cousin, who was, like, 10 years older than me, that was, like, you know, in my mind, like, a fucking video game wizard, right? And, and like, occasionally he'll watch my stream, you know, by the way. And, uh, anyway, so he, uh, like, it was, like, like, we even have pictures of, like, him and, like, me and, like, my mom, like, in front of the fucking TV in, like, 1991. Like, shit like that in front of the Atari. In front of, like, the original fucking Nintendo, man. Oh, my God. Like, those were the days. And it was so good. It was so fucking good. Game, huh? Some game! Wow. $60. This is what you expect to pay for a brand new AAA yeah. video game. But where did this price come Wait, $70 for that? No shot. Holy shit, it was 70 bucks. Hang time? I thought like the only ones that they'd be 70 bucks would be like Yoshi Safari because it came with the gun and shit. From. Well, in those initial... Bro, the Super Game Boy was so cool, man. Oh, my friend had it. I really wanted it. I never got it. My mom never got it for me. Because you could plug in a Game Boy game, and you could play it on your fucking Super Nintendo. It was Arby so days, cool. Games were going for twenty to thirty dollars, so uh -huh. pretty good deal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. What the fuck? One hundred twenty dollars for Plaque Attack? Oh yeah. One hundred and twenty dollars to play Oink. Oink, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, please. If you don't do one hundred and twenty dollars to play, um, ET Atari, ET on Atari, I will be so angry. You have to say it. You have to say to it. You know you have avoidance. to say Why it. Why did you have to avoid paying your taxes? Because video games cost $120. God damn. Jump to NES times. Games are now $60, damn which it. was like $150. Jesus Christ. However, 60? that price point would remain at $60 going into future counts. Oh, I actually thought that Majora's Mask was more. Am I misremembering or am I just calculating in the cost of the memory box? I thought it was more. Generation. So while the yeah. value of the dollar dropped, okay, sorry, video games pausing. were subtly becoming cheaper with mm -hmm. each passing year. Exactly. Except when they try to sell Turok for eighty dollars for Turok. 
There what better the be fuck? 180 dinosaurs. There were a few other games that were sold. There was like a Mech Warrior game that got sold for like $200 and people memed on it really hard, but it's because it came with like the uh like a certain amount of like a uh, like special controller to play it. $60 is still a lot of money today, but it's for a big top money. of the line video game that you are going to play and enjoy for the rest yeah. of your life, a work of art that developers poured years of their lives into. I think $60 for a new, like, high-quality game is very reasonable. The thing is, like, you should value your time at the dollar amount that you believe it's worth. However, I think that a fair way to look at it is if you get one hour of content per, or like, maybe two, two hours, or sorry, one hour of content per one or two dollars. So, like, if you get, like, 30 or 60 hours of gameplay out of the game, I think that's a, that's a good investment. Sixty dollars for that? That's just a good deal. The joke yeah. is how many sixty dollar games meet that criteria? Ooh. These dumbass games out here, you should be paying me sixty dollars to play this bullshit. The price of a well, game they did. Has absolutely Actually, nothing to do with for that the one. quality of a game. Madden costs as much as Mario Odyssey. Assassin's Creed is sixty and Red Dead Two is sixty. Cyberpunk yep. is an unfinished game, doesn't matter, sixty dollars. Do me well, yeah, he's actually right. There's a lot of games, like, back then, back in the day, there was, like, more discrepancy between, like, how much a, like, top-of-the-line game was and how much a, you know, like, fucking the, the uh, Lion King was or something like that. Eternal is one of the best shooters of all time. Eh, also $60. It's mm -hmm. like if you walked into a car dealership and you could buy a Rolls Royce for the same price as a used PT Cruiser. Oh, Where it gets big even dig. more absurd is when you take into account Zach's EVD, grandma used to have PT Cruiser. Celeste, Cuphead, Sonic Mania, Inside, yeah. Gungeon. These are some of the best okay, games cool you can game. play, and they cost $20. 20 Meanwhile, bucks. Metal Gear Survive is $30. I think a lot of people need to realize that there are many games. PT Cruiser? No, bro. I remember, like, I have a very vivid memory in my mind of, like, his grandma and, like, her friend that lived across the street in the front seat of the PT Cruiser. Me and Zach in the back seat were, like, 11 or 12. And Rob Zombie Dragula comes on. And it, she's literally driving us down the culvers to get us milkshakes because we planted gardening stuff for us. And... <laughs> fucking she turns around she's like this is actually pretty nice this is pretty fucking this is I, I like this this is good she's and she straight up sat there and listened to rob zombie with us his grandma on the way over to get us milkshakes man those were the good days oh my god i'm old man overall i it was some good time Sonic Forces was 40, but Lion Wonderworld was 60. Yeah. What the fuck are these prices? They're just picking an arbitrary number out of Balan's golden hat. Yeah. Marketing will forever manipulate gamers into wanting to buy the brand new cutting edge game. That's right. Even when there's nothing new about the game because it's all built on rec- Please cut to Overwatch 2 cycle technology from years ago my question ah oh, come on dude you made a whole video about it you gotta at least play into it a little bit is why is everyone in such a rush to play a new shitty game that isn't even finished yet that cost a lot of money when you motherfuckers haven't even played any of the classics that have been out for years. That's true. Why are you trying to play Mass Effect Andromeda when you haven't even played Mass Effect 2? Why are you buying Metal Gear Survive when you haven't even played Metal Gear Solid? Why are you I buying any one. game when you haven't even played Mario Galaxy yet? You big bitch. I feel like I just have to- I'm behind like three games on Mario. Like I need to play Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey, and I think the one before that too. Like I, I need to play all of those start showing up at game stops at this point when i see somebody pick up a dumbass game i didn't knock it out of the hand like no Whoa. no go pick Whoa. a better game copy that god of war is 17 dollars speaking of that speaking of that we got we got to talk with just a little bit real quick let me see if i can go back just a little bit more where is it where is it oh man maybe this is 60 fps we got a little bit of news regarding uh that game that we just saw be that god of war is uh, that, that Bloodborne game, we got a little bit of news. We gotta talk about that. It's a fake tweet? No, 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 bro, it's not. Wait, it's fake? Wait, what? Never mind. 
$17, Uncharted is $16, Doom is $25, Phantom Pain is $18, Devil yeah. May Cry is $23, so don't let me catch you out here spending $70 I haven't done on Cry. lawn I mowing simulator like I know you will. I will yeah. come down on you for doing some bullshit oh my like God. this. Even Fuck good that. games drop in value fast. They hit with a banana? junk even faster. More than ever, video games are yeah. fighting over your money, and as the industry grows, so do your options as a consumer. Uh-huh. Now, when I said games drop in value fast two seconds ago, uh -huh. I was talking about every game that isn't made by Nintendo. Yep. Nintendo games are expensive. Skyward Sword is a 10-year-old Wii game, $60. Mario Kart is. came out in 2014, doesn't matter, $60. Why are they so expensive? Because it says Nintendo on it. Nintendo is the name brand in video games. They have Nintendo is the fucking gold standard. Nintendo is, I mean, I don't want to hear any Omega Walls. This is fucking straight up Giga Chad. Like, Nintendo has been reinventing the game for video gaming for literally 30 years. They have stayed true to themselves. They have made a number of games. They're still making good games. They're still popping off. They're still doing well. One, two, three, four, five games, which could be yeah. considered the pinnacle of their genre. Absolutely. Not to mention 3D platformers, which you might as well just call the 3D Mario game genre yep. at this point. Not only is Nintendo the best game developer today, but they have been for four decades. Mm -hmm. And this is how they get away with selling Kirby for $60. That's Nintendo right. games are not created equally, but they are sold as equals. Mario Odyssey is $38, and Splatoon 2 is $55. And I just there gotta sit is. here and say, okay. While I would gladly pay a hundred dollars for a game as good as Pikmin 3, I feel disgusted I remember playing and the original insulted Pikmin. when you ask sixty dollars for Pokemon. That was my first Soul. game on GameCube. Get the fuck out of here. I give you one dollar for this game. Yeah. Free to play. He have put you it, ever heard put the expression that in the best things in life are free? League no. of Legends, Valorant, Fortnite. All of the best video games are free. Wait, the $60 annual franchise is now a dinosaur. Call of Duty and Battlefield are higher quality games, but they've monetized in such an exploitive way. But that's actually not true, though. That's the thing, is like, Warzone is free. You can get Warzone, for, you can play Warzone for free. And that's whenever Call of Duty, I felt like Call of Duty was falling off for a long time. Like, Warzone comes out? Holy shit, it's all, like... Yeah, it's actually just a free fucking AAA game that you can play. People are it's flocking incredible. free to play titles instead. Why pay $60 for a game with a one year lifespan when they're yeah. still updating Fortnite with free content years later? Exactly. Then you got Overwatch over here, $40 for here a game we go. that is 10 times more polished and replayable than any yep. Call of Duty or Battlefield. And they added how many characters and maps to that game mm -hmm. over the years. And, and Overwatch 2, by the way, is coming out. And the if you own Overwatch 1, you get to play Overwatch 2 PvP. Like, you automatically get Overwatch 2 and all of the changes to it and everything for free. So if you, are, if you own Overwatch 1, you don't have to spend a cent. Halo Infinite is going free to play? The same PC. $60 yeah, for and the this same way, like, bullshit? The same. This is over. Happy New Year, Xbox. Now, Boom. back in my day, this must have been around 1910, Ooh. there was a rental store called yeah. Blockbuster. Blockbuster had a deal called yep. Game Pass, where you could pay a monthly fee to keep out one or two games, and you could come yep. in whenever you wanted and swap them out for another game. Mm -hmm. Back then, this was the best way to game the system. I remember Blockbuster always had that movie, Pirates. And it, it it didn't have Johnny Depp in it. I think it was this was a different version of the movie. Today, I like that one more. That deal lives on as the Xbox Game Pass. For fifteen dollars a month, you can get access to a pretty decent uh -huh. library of games. I think it's something like three hundred games. And there is some yeah, Xbox Game Pass is lit, man. Like a lot of these uh, these companies are doing things like that. They're effectively taking the Netflix approach, where they're selling like subscriptions to big groups of like games, and you can play all of those games at the same time and like i was so glad like kotaku fucking was talking shit about the xbox game pass and xbox fucking ratioed them they're like yeah tell me you only play triple a games without telling me you only play triple a games they got fucking ratioed by xbox xbox game pass is the best yeah it's like 20 bucks too 
really good stuff in here. The only thing wrong with Crazy. Xbox Game Pass is that the second I recommend this to people, you already know snake-ass Microsoft is gonna triple the price on this thing. Yeah. Sadly, many of the best. I feel like Microsoft games. really only fucks people around with like uh, I I bought my dad Outlook because uh, he had like this problem with his inner uh, with his uh, his email, and uh, I'm like, Dad, I'm not gonna try to get like my like uh, Outlook 2003 to work for you again. Like I, I'm just not gonna do. It. I'm gonna buy you a new one. You're gonna just make a new email. Like uh, no, we're not gonna use this fucking this bullshit from like 2003. Like ah uh, no, I'm done. And so I, I I buy the new one for him. Right? It was 160 bucks for Outlook. It was crazy way too much money games out there are not available on any modern devices say you want to play a sega saturn game well first you're gonna need the console what the yeah fuck? and then the game let's look for a uh, panzer dragoon saga seventeen hundred dollars <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Now remember when I said that games drop in value? They do. We are at a point where remastered versions of games are now outdated. Metal Gear Solid 4 yeah. is still only playable on the PS3. Ridge Racer? That doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Do you mean Renzo Please Racer? Please bring up Bloodborne. Good. Oh my god, what the fuck Good. is this? Goldeneye. What the fuck is Golden? Are you talking about Golden Tea? That's not a yeah. real game. I think you're thinking of the Watch Dogs 2 Golden uh -huh. City Bundle. Tekken 3? Eh? Are the you PlayStation? talking about the Tekken 7 Season Pass 3? You oh my god. Joe. What? You mean Joe's Diner? Emulation is pretty much the only practical way yeah. to get at classic games. If it's on arcade, NES, yep. NES, Genesis, PS1, Game Boy, DS, PS2, N64, or GameCube, you can probably emulate it. Now this may or We may used to go so hard on that game, man. Actually, we used to go hard on this game, but bro, do you remember the shit like you go to like CC's Pizza or like Mr. Gotti's or Chuck E. Cheese and they would fucking have this game and you would go hard as a motherfucker? Man, dude. Oh my god, this took all my quarters. Like, I would be spending them now if I was a kid, I'd be spending it on steak. But like, back then, I was actually, I was just playing this game. Getting, get my ass beat by Shredder. The Simpsons? Yeah. Did. But this is just a straight up fucking crime. And what's nice about emulating games is that yeah. they're all free. Remember, back in the 70s, this was $150. Today, it's a 7 kilobyte file. Wow. Are cheeseburgers really this bad for your teeth? No. No. They're, they're fine. Trust me, guys. You need to play that game in particular? Yeah, I bet. Oh my god. This is a good video. I like it. I'll link it for you guys. Yeah, I think I, I was going to watch this for a while, or but I just never really had the opportunity to. So I'm glad that I got a chance to actually eventually see it, right? Vegan propaganda game? Yeah, true, actually. Very, very fucking true. Actually not true? Yeah, monthly Atari stream? Maybe one day. Was Jerry taking so long? Maybe because there's a lot of evidence? Yeah, I, I think that's a good thing, right? Jerry taking a long time to decide things. I think that's a good thing. And uh, let me go back over here and uh, and we'll get a few more of, of these. Because I know some arcade games are pay to win. More quarters equals more lives to beat it. That's true. I remember um, there was one time at Chuck E. Cheese. I played, do you remember like the fucking Jurassic Park rail shooter? The one that like you would go, you would be like going different places, you have to shoot things. Bro, my mom sat there with me and I put in so many fucking quarters to that game, but I beat it. I remember I fucking beat that game. I felt so good about that. I was so glad. Oh my God. Yeah, they got to count to 50 million. That will take a time. Holy shit. Uh, it's an older video. Uh, it's from last year, but uh, you know, make sure to give it a like. This guy makes really great videos. My favorite thing about his videos is that they're short. And it's like, that's the one thing that I don't do. Is like, my videos are always like, oh, it's an Asmongold video. Okay, well, it's the length of uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King Extended Edition. Okay, all right, well, um, let's pack a lunch. Yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah, each video that I put out, like I basically put out the fucking extended editions of Lord of the Rings every single day in terms of content length. It's nuts, man.